Good morning, church. Good morning. Today I'm blessed. Are you blessed? Yes. yes. Because I'm blessed because nice to see everyone face here. You know, after you get four things to bless your life, I'm blessed by you. I've seen a few faces, so I'm blessed. It's good to see everyone here. And our Lord is here as well. Amen. So we need to praise the Lord and praise everyone, each other, with big praise. Give us big praise, Lord, everyone. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I'd like to turn your Bible, anything. Luke 13 1 to 9 everyone please make yourself ready Luca Pinoco in the Kinosama Nepali whatever language you are studying we're going to read together Amen Let's power in togetherness Everyone ready? Yes. Luke 13, 1 to 9. One, my three, we'll read together. One, two, three. God was suspended at that time. Jesus is our Not God's way. Not God's desire. 
So it's, it's repeated two times. Repent. Or you will perish. It's talk about the sin. What other things are about done? Their punishment. We do the same things. When we see somebody suffer, somebody going wrong way, going wrong way, we think, oh, he is a more sinner than me. But not. If we don't repent, we'll be in the same position. Yeah. We'll perish ourselves. Mm -hmm. Destroy our life. Why there is in Bible so many places, so many times, it said repent. Repent. Because we need to start new things. Amen. What does we repent? Repent means think the way you think and act. Where your life heading, you're going to opposite way. Amen. If you're a sinner, you need to turn to righteousness. If you're a bad thinker, bad behavior, you need to turn to right thinker, right behavior. Amen? Amen. Repent means you need to think opposite what you are doing. <coughs> we all come here, oh, I'm a wonderful believer. <laughs> Sometimes you're coming here, just pretending. Not doing what God wants you to do. If you come here to just please others, please your family, please your friend, no. You come here to please God. Amen? Amen. So if you are thinking like that way, you have to repent. Amen? Amen. Repent and you need to please God. Start pleasing from now on. Start thinking right away. Righteousness. Right doing. Repent means not crying and forgiving, something like that. Repent means you have to think different way and different act. You have to act. Amen? Amen. Last two weeks ago, when Sister Minu, Minu, Minu is suffering from some kind of things, when I called Pastor to her house, and when before we prayed, Pastor told us, everyone in room, you have to repent first before we pray. Because if you don't repent, our prayer doesn't hurt. So Pastor, all of us, individually, we repent ourselves before we pray. Then we pray. The pastor, Sister Minu is fine, absolutely not. Are you fine now? Yeah, fine. Praise the Lord. That's the power of repent. In Bible it says, your prayer doesn't hurt when if you don't repent. How many times we hurt that word? On Acts 2 20, uh, 38, Peter said, repent and baptize. Why? Why repent? Because we are moving on some kind of worldly things. Now, we repent and baptize. That means we are going, thinking like and acting like what? Jesus. Amen. And when we repent and baptize in the name of Jesus, it said, receive gift of Holy Spirit. What Holy Spirit do us? Help us. Holy Spirit will help you to move, think, do, right way. Jesus way. Amen? Amen. So this is important. I found two words. That's why I didn't ignore. So. Next one. I'm, I'm going to focus more on one six to nine. We need to understand 
Then he told this parable, this short story. We need to understand these historic characters. A man honor that us. That is us. Remember, you. The, the honor. The fig tree. That's our dream of things that we wanted. The man who took care of the vineyard, this is, that is Jesus. Remember. Next one. When you look into seven, verse seven, so he said to the man who took care of the vineyard for three years now, I've been coming to look for fruits on this fig tree and haven't found any. Cut it down. Why should we use for the soil? Sometimes we love, look for our dreams, something else for longer than three years. In my case, I've been looking for more than 40 years. Somebody looking for more than 70 years. I tell you, don't give up. Amen. Next year, your dream will come true. Alleluia. You will be fruitful. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'll give you two, three examples. Everybody knows very well. Job, Moses, and David. What they all have. Common things, they suffer. They all didn't give up. But they all successful. Why? They didn't give up. Job lost everything. His family, wealth, and he suffered badly. But he never blamed God. He never gave up. He keep praising Lord. Moses had spent 40 years in wilderness leading all the Israelis, but he didn't give up. Even they were thirsty, they had no obstacles to cross Red Sea, but they didn't give up. David chased by Saul, his army, 3,000 of army, chased cave after cave. How long he been chased by Saul? But he didn't give up. The all three men, what they did, to achieve their dreams, or achieve their objectives, the fruitful, they all turn to God. They all ask for help. They needed God, God help. Sometimes we think our dream, our marriage, our career, our something else, our life, we think it's gone. No. Turn to God and ask for help. He will fix your marriage. He will fix your problem. He will fix your health. Amen? Amen. Pastor is running this church. 
nearly 25 years now. Some point you should be thinking, I need to give up. Is that true, Pastor? I'm just speaking from my yeah. point of view. Yeah. But he didn't give up. Instead of turning people, blaming people, blaming God, he turned to God. Amen. Now he's seeing some of the fruits. God is fixing our church as well. Amen. 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 If you've got any problem, anything you want to give up, don't give up, turn to God. Ask for help. Amen. Amen. Number four, verse eight. So the man replied, leave it alone for one more year and I will dig around it and fertilize it. Leave it alone for one more year. Jesus is asking you, Give me one more year. Whatever is your problem, whatever you are facing now, Jesus is asking for one more year from you. And he will fix your problem. Amen. I had a brief chat with Rebecca about her education and what she is doing. She said, I'm not going to university. Maybe she had a dream before she passed GCSE. What was your dream? To travel. To travel. To travel, what do you need? Money. Money. You don't travel, plan your feathers. You need money. Jesus is asking her, give me three years, go to university. Get your qualification and you will have stable life for whole life. Amen, Rebecca? You don't get a stable job without qualification. I don't have qualification, so I don't get a stable job. That's true. If I you got something problem in my world, I have to go look. What is up? It's very hard to find job. But if you are qualified, they will look for you. This world is cruel. You have to be a stronger yourself. In faith, in ability. Amen? Amen. Jesus is asking Rebecca, don't give up. Go to university. <laughs> give me three years and I will give you a whole life, a stable life. <laughs> and you will travel all the world. Okay? Yes? He's asking only three years. Go hard. And you will travel all over the world with that money. Sometimes when, we, when Jesus is asking, give me one million more years, we don't believe it. When God is speaking with Abraham, your wife will be a son after one more year, next year. Who didn't believe it? Sarah. Why? No. She is talking about human expectation, human limitation, human brain. But our God is more than your expectation and more than your brain, more than your limitation. Hallelujah. Because He is a creator, He is a provider, He is a gifter, lifter, everything, whatever you call. Hallelujah. 
Anything is possible with him. Amen. What she did, she had a son after next year. The age of 90. We give up our dreams in age of 20. Don't give up. Don't limit God from your limitation. Amen. Amen. Number five, verse nine. It will be a fruit next year. Fine. If not, then cut it down. Yeah. We need to understand in our life there is Jesus' part and our part. Yeah. Only Jesus is playing his part, he doesn't change your life. He doesn't achieve anything. We have to play our part as well. Amen? Amen. In here, what is Jesus' part? Jesus' part is to dig around and fertilize. <laughs> to make what? Fruitful. Yeah. Big tree. Big tree is not fruitful. So he, Jesus is digging around. Fertilize. What is our part? Who we are, I gave you characters. A man. Our part is to put compost. When he's digging around, we need to put compost. So that so that tree will fruitful. To grow that tree quicker, <coughs> healthier. Add more soil to make it easier to fertilize. What happened? What what farmer does every year? They add more soil to make it easier to fertilize, to grow whatever they are growing. We need to put ourselves some sand to make ourselves fruitful, Amen. grow quicker, Amen. grow healthier. Whatever is your problem, pull out the weed, weed that stop growing your plant. Whatever is your dream, whatever is your, whatever it's achieved, for something is stopping you. That's weed. You have to take it out. You have to throw from your life whatever you with you are carrying. It could be your pride. It could be your sin. It could be your negative thinking. It could be anything. I can't guarantee, I can't tell you guarantee what you got. I can guarantee myself only what is stopping me from doing fruitful and myself be fruitful. Put water every day. Without water, how can that fig tree will give you fruits? Rebecca wants to travel the whole world. Without his tables, how can to get money. Process is same. If 
see got good cultivation. She need to put water every day. Now, when the seeds is study, she need to study every day. Focus on study qualification, so she will be fruitful. Whatever our problem, we are not being fruitful in our life, in your marriage, in your relationship, in your qualification, in your study, anything. You need to put water every day. If you put one day and you stop putting 29 days, what happened? Died. So it's important to put water every day. That's our part. God, God, Jesus is digging and fertilizing you to ready to fruitful. But when that happening, we need to do our part. Only we achieve our goal and be fruitful in our life. We need Jesus' help and our help. Amen. Amen. Protecting and securing. If you don't protect that vineyard, what happens? Animal will eat it. Somebody will destroy it. People will take away. Same as your problem or anything in your life, you have to protect. Protect your faith. Protect your marriage, anything. Connect with Jesus, faithful with each other, faithful with God. Helping each other in family. That's where you protect. Not going to wrong direction, wrong ad listening, wrong advice. It's important to protect yourself. God gave you wonderful life. Stay healthy. Amen. Stay healthy. Everything you do in life, healthy, you will protect from disease. Amen. Amen? Amen. Our part is to act when Jesus tells you to do something. Or God tells you to do something. When Moses, Jesus told Moses to write your rod and stretch out your hand over the sea, what he did? He did it. That's where Red Sea parted in two places and they crossed the Red Sea. If God asking him to same thing but Moses threw his stick all the way towards the Egypt, <laughs> they will be able to cross that Red Sea. No. When God is telling you to do something, you do right away. Sometimes we, God is telling us to right away and we don't do it. That's where your problem comes. God is asking you to be faithful in everything. But when it comes to money, <laughs> we are not faithful. We are believing in God. We are believers and faithful in everything. We believe in everything. So when it tell you to do something, believe and put your trust in God. Amen? Amen. And you will be fruitful. You are not fruitful in money because of what? You are not obedient. You are not listening to God. 
you will have money problem because now you are acting. What God can you do? Instead of giving offering, you are expending your money in pleasure. What happened? Your money doesn't give you food. Your money doesn't give you fruitful life. Fruitful thought. Fruitful act. When you put God first, then God will give you automatically fruitful thought. Wonderful thought. To invest money. To get return. Easily. Amen. So we have to understand. We need to take out, do our part. Number six, same boss, it will be a force next year. God is asking one more year, you will be a force next year. But you have to do it. You have to help. You have to act. In Genesis 18.10, I spoke about already. Then one of them said, I will surely return to you about this time next year. And Sarah, your wife, will have a son. And Genesis 21.2, it said, she became pregnant and bore a son. She gave a birth to son. Don't give up. In this world, this world is a volatile world. You need to bear fruits, you need to have a stable job. To do that, what do you need to do? You have to keep doing your part. Jesus will do his part. Amen? Amen. Jesus is saying, you will have building by next year to ICM. Amen. Amen. But only Jesus is saying and doing, we are doing nothing. And doing like this, you will have building next year. No. 25 years, you don't have building. Why? Let me tell you the truth. We are not doing our part. We need to do our part individually, not pastoral part. Individual one of us, we have to do our part. Our choice, dream, goal to have one building. Building, Jesus said choice in our heart, but we need to have a building to operate your system, your work, your everything. But when we are looking for a church, a building, we all want building, building, building. We don't do our part. Every one of us responsible to do our part. When we do our part, 
will be fruitful in next year. Amen. We, are, we have our own building next year. Amen. Amen. So, as a church, don't give up. Praise God. Next year, you will have your own building. Amen. Individually, whatever you're doing, don't give up. I just gave Rebecca an example last time. Whatever is you, you're about to give up on something. Don't give up. You got one more year to fix. Yeah? Do your part. Number seven, leave it and start new one. Same boss, it said, it's not, then cut it down. Sometime in our life, we won't be fruitful. Because everything we do from our desire, our selfishness. We don't do things from God's desire. When God, God doesn't want you to have, you don't have it. Most of us, we are not achieving what we, are, we wanted. Isn't it? We all have a goal. In life, I can do this, I can do that, I can have that, but we're not getting all of them. Because God doesn't want you to have that. Remember, we only desiring ourselves. And we are not getting two years, one year, two years, three years. Sometime we have to leave that one and start a new one. At some point, your career is not working. You're not, your career is not fruitful. You have to leave that one. Start a new one. If you want to be a doctor now, I'm working, 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 open. And I've got few years to live and he's still not getting. Is that possible to chase around my qualification? No, I have to leave it. Yeah. Sometimes you think that, oh, this one, this one, this one. Sometimes you have to make decisions yourself. Yeah. But doesn't want to be of that for you. That path, you have to change your path. Amen? Amen. Last, I will leave today's sermon with two verses. John 16 33. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. We will have problem, we will have trouble, we will have turbulence in our life. But don't give up. Don't give up. God is overcome that problem. God will overcome your trouble. Amen. Whatever is your, God will make you successful in your marriage, Amen. in your family. In your believer's life. We all have problems. I've got different problems. You've got different problems. Someone has different problems. But don't give up. God will overcome your problem. Amen? Amen. Next one is Proverbs 4.23. Be careful what you think because your thoughts run your life. 
Maybe in an ID. Guard your heart, I said. It is important to be careful what we think our life. If you think our life is finished, if you think our dream is finished, if you think I'm not going to marry it, if you think I'm not successful, that thought will run your life. You will begin like that. Think I'm healthy, I'm wise, I'm wonderful, Amen. I'm righteous. Amen. And you will become like that. Amen. You think I'm God, son of God, and you became like a Jesus. Amen. When I, I, I was single, I was thinking and dreaming. Obviously, when you're seeing all your dreaming, like, oh, that dream girl. Dream girl with a dream heart. If you are thinking like that, you will get dream girl with cream heart. What will cream, cream heart do? Make every, everything beautiful and tasty. Him, whatever you put, any bread, any food, anything, make sweet, wonderful. Now I have a wonderful dream girl with a cream heart. She is making my life sweet, beautiful. But if I was thinking, going to somewhere with a wrong man, that kind of girl, mm -hmm. with bad attitude, with behaving with wrong stuff, using wrong stuff, what we get? <coughs> My thought is run. Mm. run my life, all enough. My life like that. Mm. I'll give you an example. I've got two papers. And my thing is like, I'm going to destroy it. I'm going to put someone in bad condition. I'm going to put someone in... What? Think negative way. <laughs> whatever you think, whatever. The paper is gone. And pieces destroy, isn't it? You will destroy life. You thought like that. Well, I'm going to protect my family, protect my marriage, protect my life. Help, I live healthy life, healthy thought, righteous life. And I'm going to keep that in my heart. Heart is here, right here. <laughs> what happened? What happened in my life? My life will be safe. My life is in my heart. I will think everything beautiful and still can use everything. Amen. Everything, everything what I like and I see. Whatever dreams I like here. I will find out that dream. Amen. Amen. Put it in your heart. Keep it safe. Don't destroy your life. Amen. That's why it's like. You got one more year to fix your problem. Give, Jesus asking you, give one more year. You will fix your problem. But remember, do your part. Amen? Amen.